One day my sister sent me a PDF of something that she wanted me to check up on and it opened up in Microsoft Edge, which I haven't used for ages. I did actually download the beta of the Chromium version of Microsoft Edge and for some reason when I opened it I was thinking, you know this is based on Chromium now, let's give it a shot and see how it goes. So this is my experience of switching from Firefox to using Microsoft Edge almost exclusively. So the first thing that is very important to me is extensions. So I use quite a few extensions. I use uh, TubeBuddy and there's some other things like 1Password which I use for, uh, as a password manager. So I wanted as much of these extensions to be available on Microsoft Edge as possible. And to my surprise, yes, there were some that were available in the Microsoft Store that were native to Microsoft Edge. But because Microsoft Edge is now based on Chromium, the Chrome Extension Store is actually now open to Microsoft Edge too. So basically anything that Chrome can use in it as an extension, Microsoft Edge can now use too. So that means that on Firefox I wasn't able to actually use the VidIQ extension, but now I can do. And as well as that I also get the TubeBuddy extension and all of the extensions that I used to have before. I was also pretty curious about the settings and heading into there I do like that it has Firefox style privacy settings and an option to send do not track requests to websites. And there's also a dark mode which you can bet I put on ASAP. And when coming out of the settings page I love the fact that there's this really nice looking new tabs page with a different picture every day. This is something I know Bing does and I do like that Microsoft have this as their new tabs page too. There was also some features on Firefox that I used quite a bit and yeah, lots of those features were here too and more. For starters, one of the features that wasn't actually on Firefox is the fact that I can now swipe left and right and it'll go back a page and it'll go forward a page. That's something that I used to have on Safari when I was on um, a Mac and I used to have on Chrome but wasn't actually on Firefox so I'm so happy to see it here. And there's also the usual picture-in-picture -picture thing that's on YouTube, which I use all the time for a large majority of videos, to be honest. There's also a nice little feature that, as far as I know, none of the other browsers have, which is called Read Aloud. And this basically lets the computer read aloud what is on the screen. So it can read articles to you. I used it to read a whole Word document out to myself. Cassidy was working at an airport in the small ski... Olorado like most states and territories across the country, is experiencing record unemployment numbers. So if you're someone like me that goes through articles quite often, this is probably going to be a feature that you are going to appreciate. And on top of that, Microsoft Edge does have a nice reading mode, which again is kind of similar to the Safari one, which actually has the read aloud option right at the top there. So you don't even have to go through the menu bar to look for it. And then obviously another important aspect is speed and reliability. So I have found Microsoft Edge now to be very speedy and very reliable, something that I didn't think I'd be saying about Edge or <laughs> Internet Explorer. It's nice and snappy, it's crashed on me like a few times in the many days that I've been using it and um, yeah it's just basically been as reliable if not more reliable than Firefox is. As it's based on Chromium, YouTube works perfectly well on it. It works a lot better than it did on Firefox. Sometimes when I went onto Firefox and went onto search, sometimes for some reason the search would be a bit kind of stuttery. When I'd click on a video, it would actually go to a different video and things like that. But on Microsoft Edge, it just worked perfectly fine. And as with Chrome and Firefox, there's also a mobile app for Edge too. And I got the Android app just to test to see if Edge would be any better than Ecosia was, which I was using before, which is also based on Chromium. One of the reasons I did get this app is because I wanted to be able to sync some things between the desktop and the phone. Lots of the things aren't yet available to sync between the two, but I decided to keep it anyway just to test out basically how it's going to be and whether it's as good as the desktop version. For starters, I was using Ecosia because I wanted to use the search through Ecosia basically on the phone and I did find that within the Edge browser you can actually switch the web browser to be Ecosia so even though I'm using Edge I am still searching with Ecosia. But yeah the phone app I think is just as good as Chrome is and again has some additional features. So for starters one of the most important things it's got a dark mode so you don't have to worry about you know it blinding you or anything like that. 
You can do a similar thing as you can do on Chrome where you can swipe down from the top and you'll see all of your tabs. And you can also swipe left and right from the top and again it will switch between your tabs. I wish they would do it where you could swipe along the bottom to switch between tabs, but at least it works from the top. It also has the same new tabs page as the desktop app has, which has the nice picture for the day. And something on the phone version that I haven't really used yet, um, mainly because I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet, but I do appreciate it being there, is the fact that they actually natively have Honey within the application. So, say what you want about the adverts, but the service is actually pretty good, and it's basically built into it. So, if you go to a website, you can go to the top, click on the H icon, and you'll see if there's any discount codes that you can apply. Again, I haven't used this yet just because I haven't really bought anything through the Edge app yet. And the going backwards and forwards from page to page is also emulated in a way on the Edge browser too. Instead of swiping to the left or to the right with two fingers, you can just pull from the Edge. And it's kind of like how um, Android does its going backwards and forwards on more modern phones, where you just kind of swipe in from the Edge and that goes back a page. And from the other side goes forwards, forwards a page. And overall, yeah, it's just nice and snappy. Again, as with the desktop browser, I haven't had any issues with this as of yet. And yeah, that's my experience of moving from Firefox to Edge. Overall, moving over to Edge has been a much better experience than it was being on Firefox. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. But for now, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.